What's up, YouTube? Coming to you from the uh, Fair and Forge Knife workshop tonight. I thought I'd show you some stuff. I hope that music's not too loud. I don't think it is. I think I figured out where the microphone is on my freaking camera. So now I like talk into it and don't do my Darth Vader impression into it. Like an idiot. Technology. Cameras. Jeez. I don't even know. So, um, I got a bunch of stuff I want to tell you and I'm going to try and get it into a fairly condensed video because, yeah, I'm not so good at short videos. Some of you like that, some of you don't. So, um, let's just talk about what's right in front of me. Pretty excited about this knife. Just got the blade out of, uh, out of Heat Treat today. This is just the, uh, the liners for this one. And when you make a knife out of, uh, when you make liners for a liner lock out of, um, point zero, no. Point one. Now I can't even remember. see. I talked to Tough Thumbs today, and we were having a discussion about thou. You know, like well, it's like ten thou, twenty thou. And um, no offense to any of my knife maker buddies, Jay Quebec, since you're talking thou. Um, but uh, Jeff Jeff is just utterly miffed. Uh, well, not miffed. He's not angry by it. He's he's just completely flabbergasted by this by this idea of thousands of an inch. Uh, and I understand. I I didn't uh, I didn't start relying heavily on my calipers um, until I really got heavy into making folders. So and like there they are. And, like there's another pair over there. They're everywhere now. They're like they I think they breed in my shop, uh, which is good because I always lose them. Uh, so to the knife, Elliot, rambling son of a bitch. God, sorry, sorry. Uh, so yeah. So that is a hundred thousand thick liners. Um, so they they stand alone as a, as a knife actually, without their skills and stuff on them, which is nice because then I can check all the uh, all the function and the blade centering and everything. And uh, yeah, I like it. Obviously, it's got a bunch of finish work that's going to happen to it, but it's kind of a cool look. Another nice. Uh, it's almost like a sheep foot. Not quite, you know, aggressive to be kind of a worn cliff, but we could call it like a worn sheep, a sheep cliff. <laughs> the distinctions are minimal at best, but uh, yeah, this thing's gonna be sick. So here's the uh, the scales that are going on both sides. Timascus bolster and that silver twill carbon fiber. Uh, who makes that? Composite Craft just came out with that, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Oh my gosh. As I'm walking away from the camera talking, and I know you couldn't hear any of that. Yeah, awesome. Good work. Good videography. But, uh, yeah, this thing's cool. Four inch blade. It's a nice knife. Nice big handle. Some of you like it big. So I wanted to just quick, quick preview that because I thought that was really cool. I'm excited about that knife. It's gonna be dead sexy. Uh, what else did I want to show you sitting here? Oh, let's show you this guy since I just redid all the finish work on it. Uh, so this was the um, fire tank that was up in my site for sale a while ago, and uh, the guy who bought it asked me if I could uh, refinish the scales and blade. And since I'm a dirty, dirty pirate hooker, I was like, certainly, sir. What you want? Uh, so we went with uh, just a nice bead blast in the organoform texture and. Um, orange peel on the random radius parts for a little contrast and then on the blade we did satin flats and this is actually acid wash on the uh, bevels. Uh, this is Elmax steel and I was pretty amazed that Elmax uh, actually took acid wash. Uh, I've been trying to get uh, acid wash to work on M390 and it's just it just hasn't been working. That's that's all I get. It's almost the same as, as bead blast. Um, so this is going to be an all-black knife that I'm making here for another Jeff, not Tough Thumbs. And you know who you are, Jeff. And, uh, yeah, so there's your knife. It's it's getting there. But I, I'm going to Cerakote the, the blade now since I, the acid wash didn't work. Because we're making it black. Kind of like my soul. It's not true. I don't have a black soul. Um, quickly, quickly. Uh, so let's talk real quick about this guy. Um... People have been giving me a hard time because I called it a mid tech. And they're like, dude, it's not a mid tech. It's still a custom knife. Even though you're having parts made by Waterjet, 
it's still a custom knife. They're like, aren't you doing all the work on it? I'm like, yeah. They're like, didn't you write the CAD file? Yeah. Well, then it's still a custom knife. So, there you are. The Prettiums are not, in fact, Mid-Tex. They're slightly mass-produced custom knives. I don't know. I guess we're only doing we're only doing 100, so I guess that makes them, in fact, custom knives. So, um, just as a little note of interest, exciting for me, uh, Blade HQ is going to be getting 30 of these, and uh, as soon as the uh, all of my wait uh, my um <laughs> my wait list, my pre-order list, as soon as all the guys in there get their knives. Uh, which I'm hoping is going to be in less than a month, uh, then Blade HQ gets the next 30. And so they're going to have these in stock before I will. That's pretty pretty nice of me. But uh, I was talking to them, the good fellows at Blade HQ, uh, Jacob in particular, and uh, and Jeff had told me that they were really cool guys. And, uh, and he was right. He's a good judge of character in that regard. They are very cool. And I'm very excited to uh, to be sending them knives. And speaking of that, I'm probably going to do finish this custom one up. I mean, this is just uh, basically rough, and so I'll finish that up and send that to them as well because they asked. Got any custom stuff laying around? Yeah, I might. I try and fit it in amid my massive list. Yeah, what else did I want to tell you? Oh. Ooh, something big and cool is going on with Tough Thumbs. I can't really tell you what it is, but it's it's going to be really cool. It's very, very exciting. And I so hope it happens. And I hope Jeff tells us about it, because you guys are going to, some of you are going to shit your pants. But anyway, um, yeah, that was about it. Look at that. Under 10 minutes. Booyah. But uh, I will see you guys later. And I'm going to try and do some more videos. I will definitely shoot video of this guy when it's completely finished. Because uh, it's going to be a pretty nice looking knife. Um, and uh, remember people. If you want want to get in on the Pretty and pre-order. You better do it. I mean it's a, a tiny $50 deposit. I mean, that's it, to get your name on that list. I don't know, they're pretty cool knives. Definitely pretty nice design, if I may say so myself, being the guy who designed it. But no, they're, I'm, I'm pretty excited about these. I've been carrying this, right? So the, we're like on week two of me carrying this, and, um, and basically I love everything about it, except for that clip. So the clips are gonna be different. I don't, I don't like them at all. Uh, not to mention these are a pain in the ass to make because you, I got to mill that all and, and stuff in this uh, I'm just not loving it. I think I'm gonna go with kind of a, a stock bent clip It's gonna attach a little higher up to be a little more deep carry It'll be a little easier in and out of the pocket than that guy is but uh Yeah They're gonna be nice knives and um, Assuming I don't die or go completely insane and uh, and stop making knives or some crazy shit like that. Um, they're gonna be uh, kind of kind of collectible, kinda, because uh, there's only been a hundred of them ever in existence. And, uh, and I'm, I'm telling you, I'm never ever gonna make this model again, unless it is as a custom knife. And then it's gonna it's gonna be a real custom knife. It's gonna have all my stuff on it. Uh, another exciting thing we're gonna do about this. So I've been talking to Jeff about it. We've been throwing ideas back and forth. Uh, I am definitely, definitely um, gonna send him blank ones of these. So without any mailing and stuff on it, just blank tie. And uh, and Jeff's gonna have his way with them. And you know what that man does? He puts his spunk all over it. No, no, it's disgusting. Maybe. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> but yeah, so Jeff and I are definitely tough thumbs. Sorry. And I are definitely going to uh, do a little collaborative effort, which is very cool. I'm very excited about it. 
And I'm trying to convince that that jerk face to uh, to send me one of his um, tough tannics when he starts getting those made. Because um, I want to I want to take it and do things to it, not in an aesthetic sense. I want to do stuff to it in a mechanical sense. Because I'm I'm trying to convince Jeff to to just try using bearings. Right, he totally has the tools to do it. So, I mean, if you are, um, if you're sub to him and you watch his videos and you feel comfortable doing it, you should, uh, you should tell him, dude, come on, use some bearings. You can do it. You can totally do it. Right? And I will so totally help him. I mean, he can so do bearings. And I, with, with the man's designs, I mean, they would be fantastic. Fantastic knives. Not that they're not going to be fantastic knives without bearings in them. But oh, can you imagine? Silky smooth on that tough tannic. Oh, that's gonna be a hot knife. Hot knife. That's why I want one. No, but um. So yeah, uh, take care, YouTube, and I will uh, definitely try and shoot some more video, show you all the interesting things I'm doing. And I got other stuff I'm working on too. It's not just one knife at a time here. It's usually more like ten. So uh, take care, YouTube, and I will see you later.